For over 35 years, Street Fighter has been an iconic video game franchise that has consistently redefined the fighting genre. And now, with their sixth mainline entry, do they have the winning combo that will make both loyal fans happy and attract potential new players? Well, I've been playing Street Fighter 6 this past week, and this is my review. What's up guys, it's the African Geek here and man, it would be an honor if you hit that subscribe button. It's a great privilege that I get to do reviews like these and so subscribing to me really helps. But let me help you first and let you know if Street Fighter 6 is worth your time or not. In this review, I'm going to mainly focus on whether or not the offline version of this game is fun. I'm more of a casual button masher fighting game player than a competitive one. Fighting games hold a very special place in my heart because I grew up playing Mortal Kombat and Injustice with my little brother and I have to say that Street Fighter 6 really impressed me, so much so that I actually need to introduce this game to him. All the characters in the fighting roster are a joy to play as and they are bursting with personality and animated excellently. It was so much fun to see how each character plays and then trying to pull off their special moves and all of them are so stylish and I can't see them ever getting old. The fighting animations really dazzled me, with its artistic flourishes to the exciting combos that are really fun to learn, and consistently I found myself in awe with some of the moves I was pulling off either accidentally or on purpose. I was also really impressed with how many maps there are to choose from. I found them a little underwhelming technically speaking because they aren't like in Injustice or Mortal Kombat where they're interactive and engaging in a different way. Thankfully, the Street Fighter 6 maps have great art design and have a real retro feel to them. What also has that retro feel to them is that arcade mode, which allows you to enjoy a unique story from each of the fighters. And while I wish they were, you know, fully animated, they are a fun extra way to enjoy and get to know the characters more. The biggest letdown to the game, however, was the main campaign that allows you to create your own character and you get to level them up to become the next legendary fighter. Everyone here is a first timer, right? Doesn't that make you nervous? No. Nerves are irrelevant. Losing isn't an option. The main concept of you learning from the famous fighters of this world is a great one. And those moments when you're learning each of their styles is truly when the campaign is at its best. But unfortunately, it's less of a tight and punchy adventure. Instead, it's more of a grindy RPG when you run around mostly bland open world sections. However, it takes its name Street Fighter very literal as the world you're in is like in a musical everyone sings, but in this one everyone fights. It never gets old just going up to someone and randomly dragon punching them. So in conclusion, the single player portion of Street Fighter 6 has a lot of content to keep you entertained. I was particularly blown away with how excellent the characters are designed combining what we love about them and adding a lot of modern touches to make the action so engaging. I personally would have preferred a more straightforward main campaign that had less filler, but I think maybe Street Fighter fans will enjoy that they have even more to sink their teeth into. Overall, I give Street Fighter 6 an 8.5 out of 10, as its fighting gameplay was such a thrill ride that I never wanted to put down my controller. And so, are you going to be picking up Street Fighter 6? Also, what is your favorite fighting games? Let me know down in the comments, but that's it from me. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Ready to talk now? Kimberly wins! <laughs> 